And what of the cause, the cause, my soul, for which we were all in our diverse ways working? We called it independence or freedom, but there came along those who wanted to change its name to home rule or devolution. That's what was settled on in the end, devolution. And as we patiently awaited devolution or something better, people began to die. Stuart MacGregor died, that bonny balladeer, and the magnificent Fionn McCullough, and Sidney Goodsir Smith, and then the great MacDermott. When that last happened, a shiver went through Scotland, a chill came on the air. But we were waiting devolution at that moment, it was just around the corner, consummation was at hand. Then a year later, it was 1979, and devolution disappeared down the drain. Instead, we had Mrs. Thatcher. So we all put our heads down and got on with whatever else we were doing and tried to forget. And they went on dying. The old war horses of the SNP died one by one. Arthur Donaldson and Donald Stewart and Robert McIntyre and many another. And the old toothless pit bulls of the 1320 Club were no more. Major F.A.C. Boothby and Ronald McDonald Douglas and Wendy Wood vanished like snow off a dike. And still we went on waiting. And then, after a very long time, what should be on the agenda again but devolution? But still they went on dying. And now all the bards and writers were disappearing, falling away one by one. Tom Scott and the resplendent Ada Kay and George Mackay Brown up in Orkney, and Garriach, the canniest of wordsmiths, and Jim Annand went the way of all flesh, and the incomparable Sorley MacLean, and Norman McCaig with all his wit. All these irreplaceable people were gone, and still we were waiting. And a lot of less famous people died too, but now devolution was once more around the corner, and my cousin Jean died, the only nationalist in my family apart from myself, and a very staunch one in her own quiet way. Jean died after years of sickness and suffering, and on the morning of her funeral the headline in the Scotsman read, Power stays with English MPs, Blair tells Scotland. And of course he was right. And now we have our devolution, and the Niaf rules in every corner of Scottish cultural and political life, and the flower of that reincarnated Scotland, struggling up through the mud, is still nowhere to be seen. Not yet. <laughs>